Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video I'm going to answer the question of can you still make money online with a blog? Can you still make money online blogging? I think yes, I'm going to teach you in six steps how to exactly do it and how to do it quickly. So before we get into that, it really helps out the channel. If you drop a like on this video, hit subscribe and turn on that bell. If you want to be updated with new videos coming out like this all the time that are going to help you to find success online. Also, if at any moment you just want to click off this video, do go through to the, to the description first, click next to that green tick, and it will fast forward you to a part of the video that I think you might find interesting. All right, so getting straight into it. Can you make money from blogging? Yes, you can. Blogs are a billion dollar business. People still like to read rather than watch videos. I'm actually one of those people. I find whenever I wanna know information, I go to like a YouTube video. It's generally someone talking for way too long and I'd rather just read through something. You know, I know that I'm going at my own speed and I know I can get through it quicker. And for me and for many people, they prefer that. So of course, blogs are still, they can still be valuable. They can still make you a lot of money and a lot of uh, passive income. So step one, the first thing you need to do is don't be a generalist, be a specialist. So you need to find a niche. Now a niche can be something that you are passionate about and that you're motivated to talk about and help people with and become an authority in, or it can be something you're just strong in, okay? And therefore you just already have natural expertise over the average person and you're able to talk and give value in that niche. So you need to go out there, do a bit of research, ask yourself, you know, what could you create something around? What do you know a little bit more than the average person that you can offer value to? Or what communities are you involved in that you think you know more than the average person? That's a good way to select a niche. Step two is you need to figure out what content you're gonna try and produce. Now I like to split up content into two groups. One is money content and one is value content. Value, you're just giving out value, you're helping people out. Money content is you're generally reviewing a product or marketing your own product. Basically, the objective is to get people to buy something. Now, how do you create value content? Well, uh, on your screen right now, you can see I'm in Quora. Quora, I think, is a great tool because the best way to give value is to not just think of something, think what you believe will give people value, but go and go on to Quora, go into groups and see what people are actually asking for. So I went to losing belly fat, right? So how to lose belly fat, that could be a good piece of content. What's the best way? You know, these are all questions and these questions can be the titles of content that you produce, value content. Okay, so I'd recommend Quora for producing value content. For money content, I would recommend looking for products in your niche that have affiliate programs and becoming affiliate of those programs and reviewing them and giving your two cents and then linking you know, to that product. That's like, I think the fastest way one could make money online. If you have trouble finding influencers that have products that have affiliate programs, go and find a product that does have an affiliate program, review that, and then review these people's programs. I did a video more in depth on this yesterday that you can watch, and then redirect this traffic to the traffic that does have the affiliate link, and you can make money that way by utilizing that traffic that's already there and redirecting it. Once you've figured out what kind of content you can create, I would recommend writing that down, maybe 20 money content, 20 value content. You need a host. Now I've done the hard work for you. I would recommend Hostinger. If you're new uh, to starting a business online, Hostinger is the cheapest and fastest option. Uh, I have a link for you in the description where you can get this super discount uh, only through that link. You can also create unlimited sites, you know, under the same plan, which is really, really great. So do click that link, build a website on a reputable host that is fast and is not gonna cost you a lot of money. So the next step is start producing content. So get WordPress on your Hostinger site. It should be easy to do inside Hostinger, just install it. And also I'd recommend a plugin called Rank Math. It's absolutely free. Going into plugins inside WordPress, adding the Rank Math plugin. That way when you're producing content, Rank Math flashes up on the side and it tells you how to optimize your content for SEO. It'll say like, you know, put your title in the first line, put your title, you know, under a picture, include it, you know, 10 to 15 times, um, make your sentences shorter and it will give you a score. And Rank Math has worked for me, you know, for years and I can continually rank uh, very highly on Google from just doing what Rank Math tells me to do. Also remember in your content, you wanna do call to actions at the bottom, especially if you're doing money content. You need to be like, 
If you want to get in on this product, click the link below. You can even entice people with bonuses. I'll give you an example to a bit of con money content that I've done. And uh, you can see how I've laid it out, my call to actions and everything else that I've included. And you can kind of mimic that if you want. The next step is get good at one social media platform. If you're in fitness, I'd recommend Instagram or Twitter. If you're in uh, making money, investing, I'd recommend Twitter. Actually, now that I think about it, I'd recommend Twitter really for everything. I've totally focused in on Twitter for one reason and one reason, o reason only. It has the better audience that is into self-improvement. It has the audience that doesn't mind buying products. It has the audience, you know, it has basically it has buyer traffic, more buyer traffic than I feel other social media platforms have. Now, the way I got good at Twitter or the way I'm getting better at Twitter, it is a work in progress, is I did get this masterclass 24 seven. It is a group that you can join and there's just so much value from so many bigger accounts. So it's kind of an engagement group, but it's more so an account where a lot of bigger accounts kind of commune, talk, offer value, and you can just learn so much just very, very quickly and start building up your Twitter. I do also believe in the power of engagement groups as well. An engagement group basically lets you share your tweets. And uh, when you share your tweet in the engagement group, people will like add likes and retweets to it. And that just really helps to build your account very, very quickly because to Twitter that it just says you're offering a lot of value. It gets shared more. You're gonna get a lot more organic outreach and therefore you're gonna get a lot more traffic to your post, to your blog. So my number one engagement group is Fuel Growth Labs, the premium growth community, formerly called Affiliate Grandmasters. I'll leave a link for you in the description there. You can get that at a discounted price as well if you do wanna join an engagement group and get good at Twitter. Now, if you followed the SEO tips using Rank Math, and you have been you know, researching questions that people are asking, uh, what you then need to do is share your content. I'd recommend going to whatever questions you answered, first of all on Quora, clicking on it and responding with your content. Okay, give them like a little piece of it, but then link to it, okay? And lots of people are gonna continually view that. You're also gonna get, start getting organic traffic anyway, uh, just from you know answering questions people are already obviously looking for. I mean, Cora should be the proof that people are already looking for these uh, answers, okay? You also wanna share it on Twitter and also share it in the engagement groups because even the other members in the engagement group, uh, they might be into what you're talking about and they might also buy the products that you are perhaps affiliating for. So you're gonna share it on Twitter, you're gonna share it back in Cora answer the person directly. Remember, you market to one person, not a group. That's how you do it. And also in the engagement groups as well. And you're gonna to start to see traffic flowing in over time from multiple different angles, different sources, okay? And that's a potentially, you know, traffic equals sales, right? Now, that's really it. That's basically a rinse and repeatable method to making money from a blog as quickly as possible. Now, there's one thing I did miss out. If you're getting stuck after a lot of you know, after you've done quite a lot of content and Cora is not really giving you the results you want. You can also use Google Keyword Planner and also my favorite tool, Jaxi. There's a link in the description to that. And you can also find when you, say for example, we go to Cora here and you go, how can I lose belly fat without exercise? You would come through the Jaxi, you'd put in a, the search term, how to lose belly fat. It will search that search term and, uh, and it will come up with related search terms, okay, that you can use for content. So here it's come up with what way to lose belly fat. This is searched for 4,000 times a month. And if you look up the QSR, it'll tell you great. That means it's low competition. So it's good to write content on this because you're gonna be able to rank for it easily. You can come down here, how to lose belly fat naturally. Uh, it has 557 searches. Go to there. You know, it's another great one. So you could validate what you got from Cora in Jaxi and, uh, and then produce the content just as that middle step, just to ensure that you're gonna get that organic traffic, okay? So is there still money to be made in blogging? Absolutely, those are six steps that you can follow and they are completely rinse and repeatable and I would say the more you do it, the more you can scale, the more money you're potentially gonna be able to make. It's just, it's that simple, okay? Don't overcomplicate it. Now, if you do want to go further into this, if you want more information, if you want your hand held, I have a link for you in the description to my brand new Silver Spoon program. Nothing like this exists. 
And it's called Silver Spoon because as long as you just follow it along, I guarantee I can literally spoon feed you results step by step and you can start making cash flow as quickly and as easily as possible. I've decided to open a limited number of spots uh, where you can get into the community absolutely free, but I only want those of you who are dedicated and serious. If you're not serious, then please allow those who are to claim those final spots. So if you just click that link in the description, go through the next page and I'll take you through the whole process step by step. So if you found value in this video, drop a like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you inside the community. Take care.